Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is, will your hands get wrinkly in the ocean? As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is either two cups or bowls, um, salt and water. To set up this experiment, I'm just using regular um, house salt here, uh, and you're gonna mix it in, uh, dissolve as much as you can into the water. So keep pouring a little in and stirring, and you'll know when you get to the end where it won't dissolve anymore. But you want to do as much salt as possible um, for the uh, first bowl. I'm using a couple of pans, but uh, cups, anything you get your hand in. And so I keep adding a little bit of salt, checking it. And I want to make sure that I have as much salt uh, dissolved into this um, side that I'm going to end up using for my right hand uh, for this experiment. So I keep doing that. Once you get it to the right uh, mixture where it can't dissolve any more salt then you're going to pour it into either your cup or your pan so um, take the salt side here just to let you know it's the salt pour it in into this one and then we're going to set up the other bowl and start our experiment so so the second part is we're just taking regular tap water straight out of the sink uh, no salt this time and uh, mark that tap water so we know and I'm going to use this for my left hand. So I'm going to pour that in the second bowl or cup. Um, I found these to be pretty easy to put my hands in. Um, you do have to have them in there for 20 minutes. So pour that in and we'll get the experiment going. Okay, so we're going to do this experiment. We got regular tap water and we have salt water. And I'm going to put my hands in for 20 minutes to see what the effect is. So the, uh, te a little test today, surprise test. Uh, good news, bad news. Bad news is there's a surprise test. Which hand is going to wrinkle up, the regular tap water or the salt water? Um, the good news is it's a 50-50 chance um, and it's self-grading. All right, so I will start this off. Time it. All right, so we're about five minutes, a quarter of the way through the test. Um, I don't feel any difference or see anything uh, going either way, the salt water or the regular water, I do the the salt water does feel a tad colder, even though they both uh, the water came out the, directly out of the tap. Maybe the salt uh, made it a little bit colder, but otherwise um, nothing different. So we're a little bit halfway done now um, in the two waters. Uh, so uh, we're going to continue to go uh, check back in about five minutes. And then 10 minutes will be with the end results. All right. So we're uh, three quarters of the way done. 15 minutes into the test. Um, both hands are starting to feel about the same now. Um, and I've got five minutes left. And we'll check back for the end results. And we'll see where we come out at. All right. Well, we're coming up to the end of the test here. Um, and I've been in for 20 minutes. Uh, right hand has been in the salt water mixture and the left hand has been in the tap water. So we are going to uh, reveal the salt water first. And you can see the right hand uh, with the salt water, it's not wrinkled at all as much, right? Uh, overall it's red. But it's not wrinkled but if we go to the left hand you can totally see uh, how wrinkled up it is um, with the regular tap water so as you notice the the hand that gets wrinkled is by soaking it in fresh water this is just like being in the bathtub however the hand that was soaking in salt water wasn't wrinkled at all Every cell in your skin of your hands contain a semipermeable membrane, which allows some substances to enter the cell, but not others. Water can freely pass in and out of that cell of your skin. Whether water passes in or out depends on the concentration of salt outside of the cells. If your cells are surrounded by a solution that is greater concentrated of salt, water will pass from these cells to the outer solution in an attempt to equalize the concentration. This passage of water through a semi-permeable membrane is known as osmosis. If the concentration of salt is greater within the cells than outside, the water will move into the cells. The water will always move into the direction of the greatest salt concentration in an attempt to dilute it.
When we placed our hand into the tap water, the solute concentration of the cells of your skin is greater than that of the tap water. The cells that have a greater concentration of the dissolved solutes than the water surrounding them. The cells that are hypertonic to the surrounding solution. As a result, the water will flow into the cells and attempt to equalize the concentrations. This makes your skin wrinkly. However, the solute concentration of the salt water is greater than that of the solute concentration of your cells. The cells have a lower concentration of dissolving solutes than the salt uh, solution surrounding them. The cells are hypertonic to the surrounding solution. In an attempt to equalize the concentrations, water will actually leave the cells of your skin, making your skin feel a little tighter. This is how bath salts work, which prevents your skin from getting wrinkly as you soak in the tub. So remember, check your fingers the next time you swim in the ocean. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.